This is an example video for Double Angle Identities Problem Type 1. It's important that you are familiar with these double angle identities for this topic. Let's begin by looking at this problem. Find sine of 2x, cosine of 2x, and tangent of 2x if cosine of x equals negative 3 over square root of 10, and x terminates in quadrant 2. The first thing we want to do is draw a reference triangle in quadrant 2. Is quadrant 2 the top left region on the coordinate plane? Yes, you are correct. We can approximate the triangle like this. We are given that cosine of x equals negative 3 over square root of 10. We can use this to begin labeling each side of the triangle. An easy way to remember how trigonometric functions relate to triangles is by the acronym SOCATOA. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Right now we will use cosine. Therefore, the adjacent side equals negative 3, and the hypotenuse equals square root of 10. Why did you choose to put the negative sign with the 3 instead of the square root of 10? Great question. The hypotenuse of an angle in standard position is always positive. That means that the adjacent side must be negative in this situation. Also, we know that the adjacent side to the angle we are concerned with correlates to the negative x-axis. Therefore, the 3 should be negative. Let's label our unknown side as b. How will we solve for b? Can we use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Yep, that's what we will use. We will let a equal negative 3 and c equal square root of 10. Substituting these into the equation, we write negative 3 squared plus b squared equals square root of 10 squared. This simplifies to 9 plus b squared equals 10. Subtracting 9 from both sides, we write b squared equals 1. We can square root both sides and write b equals plus or minus square root of 1. Since the opposite side is above the x-axis, the side is labeled with positive 1. Now that we have determined all sides of the triangle, we can find the values for sine of x, cosine of x, and tangent of x. Again, using SOCATOA, we find that sine of x equals 1 over square root of 10. We were already given cosine of x in the problem statement, and tangent of x equals 1 over negative 3. How do we use these equations to make substitutions for the double angle identities? The double angle identity for sine is sine of 2x equals 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. We already determined what sine of x and cosine of x are equal to numerically, so we can make the substitution and write sine of 2x equals 2 times 1 over square root of 10 times negative 3 over square root of 10. This simplifies to negative 3 over 5. We have three different identities to use for the double angle identity of cosine. All will lead us to the same answer. So feel free to use your favorite. We will use the first one for this example. Cosine of 2x equals cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. Substituting cosine and sine, we write negative 3 over square root of 10 squared minus 1 over square root of 10 squared, which simplifies to 4 over 5. Last, we will solve for tangent of 2x. Here are the steps for tangent. The final answers are sine of 2x equals negative 3 over 5, cosine of 2x equals 4 over 5, and tangent of 2x equals negative 3 over 4. So, the overall process for solving these problems is to first sketch the given angle in standard position in a coordinate plane, draw a perpendicular to the x-axis to form a right triangle, and find the lengths of the side that was not given. Then find sine of x, cosine of x, and tangent of x for the triangle, 
and last, substitute those values into the double angle formulas. Great work. That's correct. <laughs>